What's up guys, Joe Snow right here and today Apple has seeded finally the iOS 10.2.1 public beta 3 after two weeks of idle time. So as you can see it is a 1 gigabit 82 on uh, on my device being an iPhone 6 running iOS 10.1.1. So it's a pretty big update and we're pretty much waiting for a final release for, for 10.2.1 which is bound to come as soon as possible if we we know Apple very well but there are very important things to mention in this video so please stay with me and watch carefully at first do not update if you really want to go into the beta portal and download this thing and if you don't care about jailbreaking you can go ahead on the beta.apple.com log in and go ahead in here you have three steps I think the first one to create a backup and the second one to download a profile Downloading the profile will enable you to download the beta as well. So it's pretty much simple, but if you really want to download it, it looks like this and you will need to install it, but do not do that. After installing it, you will have this application for feedback as well and you will be able to download betas, but pretty important if you care about jailbreaking, do not forget we're reiterating the uh, tweet that Luca Tedesco posted a couple of days ago uh, yeah, a couple of days ago, and it was my fix for the issue in the iOS 10.1 jailbreak will be to add support to 10.2. It will, however, not work on iPhone 7 on iOS 10.2, just 10 and 10.1. This means that if you update, for example, if you're on 10.2 and you missed the iOS 10.1.1 downgrade window and you update to 10.2.1, you will lose your chance to jailbreak again. So if you didn't downgrade to Tempo 1.1 because I don't know you missed the opportunity to downgrade during that period and you're on 10.2 then do not update to iOS 10.2.1. There are no new features, nothing really new, only bug fixes. Probably iOS 10.2.1 probably should have been iOS 10.2 but you know Apple is rushing to, to go with their schedules. So this is the problem. iOS 10.2.1 is only for bug fixes. I don't know in which manner bug fixes or what they are fixing because you probably remember Apple do not provide very good change logs for the betas. But when the iOS 10.2.1 will be up, if you care about the uh, jailbreak, do not update. And very important, save your iOS 10.2 blobs. If you, even if you're not in that uh, iOS version. I have a tutorial for that. You can see it in here on how to save SHSH2 blobs properly for future downgrade. And you can check out this video. I also have a video for Windows version and you need to follow it up. And as Luca Tedesco said, go ahead, save your blobs. Even if you're on Tempo 1 or Tempo 1.1, you might need them later because the iOS 10.2 jailbreak might come. Of course, iOS 10.2 jailbreak is not prioritary for the moment and iOS 10.1.1 will be the one that will be released as soon as possible. So keep in mind, do not update to 10.2 if you are already on iOS 10.1.1. This iOS 10.2 jailbreak should be only taken in consideration only if you are on iOS 10.2 already because you didn't downgrade or for any other reason. But do not update if you're on 10.1.1. As I said, iOS 10.2.1 doesn't give any other new features, so do not update for that. And also, you should keep in mind that there is also a page available on Reddit where you can see the status of the jailbreak. And right here on the wiki, if you scroll a little bit and you zoom, you have the um, iOS 10.x jailbreak status. And as, as you can see for iPhone 7, there is Yalu jailbreak on 10.1 and 10.1.1, but for other devices, um, there are no jailbreak. Of course, there is for iPhone SE, if you want to check it out, and for iPhone 6S, but all the rest are waiting for their jailbreak. So do not update. This is basically it. This is with this new update. Do not download it. Do not get it. Do not do anything that might ruin your jailbreak experience. Of course, if you don't want a jailbreak and you like to run the latest firmware, you can go ahead and try the betas and you can also use a feedback tool if you want. But if you're interested in jailbreaking, definitely do not update. Stay on the lowest firmware possible at it, as it is the most recommended. 
and do not forget to save your SHSH blobs. So this is basically it guys, do not forget you have the tutorials in the description down below and more info, so please read it. So yeah, if you like this, give this video a thumb up, tell me in the comment section down below what you think about this and peace out.